Are you ready to do Universal Studios Florida in just one day? Find out how on episode 42 of the Theme Park Hipster Show. Hey, Theme Park Hipsters! It's your host, Nikki J, the owner of ThemeParkHipster.com, where I help you plan the best solo theme park vacation with the latest tips, reviews, personal stories, and more. Today, I have another fun-filled and informative episode just for you. But first, I want you to know that I do have a free digital ebook going over all that you can do at the Universal Orlando Resort. And you can do it solo because you guys know I'm the solo gal. You can find that instant download in today's show notes. Now... Today, we are going over how you can enjoy Universal Studios Florida in just one day. Here, you can ride the movies and be the star. This is or was Universal Studios Florida's claim to fame. You can still see remaining relics of the past, but things have shifted into dominant franchises of today. Now, I'm no stickler for, you know, living in the past and all the nostalgia and what some people would call it as my friend Diamond, what would Walt do type of mentality. But I do miss rides like the original King Kong confrontation. And no, I'm not a fan of the new Kong ride and Eyes of Adventure. And don't hate me, but I'm just not. I'd rather have the original done in a 20. 19 version. But anyways, we're not here for the nostalgia. I'm here to help you plan the perfect trip to Universal Studios Florida. And my goal is for you to be able to conquer every top attraction and experience in the park in just one day. Universal Studios is open every day of the year, unless there's some kind of crazy natural disaster like a hurricane. And it's usually open from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. during the regular season. But during peak hours, the time may go up to about 9 p.m. and sometimes 10 p.m. Once we go through this list, I'm going to make sure that I give you some of the top hitting attractions. But you can feel free to eliminate or add any item you feel fits your type of day. The key to accomplishing this one day adventure is to arrive at Universal Studios early. If you have special early entry option, then take full advantage. That is the first tip we're going to start out with. The second tip is to purchase tickets online and to download the park map. You can download the park map by getting the actual Universal Studios Orlando app, or you can just go to Universal's website and get a park map and just kind of map out your day and figure out where you want to start and where you want to end up. The next tip I have for you or the next path is to ride Despicable Me. You want to begin in Production Center and head towards Despicable Me. This is a 3D simulator ride and it's based off the hilarious animated movies. It's one of Universal's most popular rides, so you'll want to do this one right away. But here's a tip. If the line is extremely long when you first get there, maybe come back towards the end of the day when the park is about to close and go ahead and experience. The next thing you want to do is to grab a ticket for Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon. You can go there, grab your ticket later, or you can book your reservation slot on your Universal Orlando app. Once you have your ticket for later, you're gonna want to do Diagon Alley before the afternoon rush. Completing the Race Through New York attraction takes a while for you to go through. It's about 35 minutes to just do the whole thing. That's including the pre-show and the actual ride. Once you are done, and if you don't want to go right over to Diagon Alley, you can go ahead and head over to Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket Roller Coaster. On this high-speed steel roller coaster, you choose the musical soundtrack to take you through all of these drops and twists and turns. And they do have the single rider option for solo travelers. On here, I love bumping my Kanye West. I think they may have changed some soundtracks, but I haven't been on it in a while because I usually am not to waiting in the line for this ride. But it is fun to have that blasting music to get you pumped as you go through the ride. And all the music choices that they have seems to flow perfectly with the ride itself. Once you are done with Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, go over and join the cause and ride Transformers. 
Transformers The Ride 3D is another 3D motion simulator just like Spider-Man over at Islands of Adventure. And on this journey, you head into the headquarters of Nest. This is the non-biological extraterrestrial species treaty and this is where you will learn how to battle decepticons this ride also does have a single rider option and it's perfect to ride if the wait times are less than 30 minutes after you are done with transformers the ride you should go ahead and knock out fast and the furious um yeah <laughs> i know everyone has their mixed opinions about it but while you're there why not experience the line shouldn't be too long, but if it is, go ahead and grab your reservation ticket and come back to it later. Once you are done with the Fast and Furious ride, go over and ride my favorite ride, which is Revenge of the Mummy. This is an indoor dark ride roller coaster. It is highly themed with props prompting you to believe that you are actually on the set of the Mummy movie. The wait time for my favorite ride is usually no more than like 20 minutes unless it's a super super busy day then the wait time can go up to 45 minutes i don't know why the wait time isn't longer for this ride but i'm not complaining i just don't want it to do anything to cause it to close because i love the mummy ride guys i love that you get to scream your head off and still be engulfed in such magic and mystery after the mummy ride is to head over to the wizarding world of harry potter now if you didn't do this right at the beginning of your day, this is now the perfect time to head over there before it gets crazy. Prepare to spend quite some time exploring this magical section of Universal Studios. Diagon Alley is the second installment of The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The other portion, which is called Hogsmeade, is located in Islands of Adventure. While you're over here inside Diagon Alley, be sure to chat with Stan in front of the night bus, ride Escape from Gringotts, Browse the shops of Diagon Alley, discover the nooks and crannies of Nocturne Alley, have a butter beer and some ice cream while you're there, check out Celestina Warbeck and all her magical entertainment. Then you're going to want to watch Tales of Beetle the Bard. You're going to want to get that wand from Ollivander's Wand Shop and hopefully be chosen. Then you're going to want to find some little secrets hidden in Diagon Alley, such as Sirius Black's little house elf peeking out the window. I do have a full article on Diagon Alley and it's on themeparkhipster.com. I can link that in today's show notes. I've also done a podcast episode about Diagon Alley, which you can also go back through and listen to. I'll be sure to link that as well. Once you are done discovering Diagon Alley and getting lost in all the magic, it is time for you to have lunch at the Leaky Cauldron. Take your break and pretend like you are there as Harry would be. Here you can grab a traditional British dish as you recap all the fun that you've had so far in your Universal Studios day. And now you're halfway done. We're about to dive right in and finish up this day at Universal Studios. Once you leave Diagon Alley, head over and ride Men in Black Alien Attack. This is an interactive point and shoot laser ride similar to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin over at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Honestly, I suck at this ride, but you can definitely do much better than me. I mean, I really suck at this ride. I don't think you understand. I think the harder I try, the more I suck. <laughs> I don't know. If you have some tips out there, let me know. And if you're going to be there, tell me. I want to come with you so you can teach me how to really conquer this ride. On this ride, there are guns, you know, fake high-tech guns that are on auto fire, which means if you hold the trigger down the entire time, there are chances that your score may go up higher. But like I said, it is never, never worked for me. And here is a bonus tip to get that 100,000 points. Press the flashlight in front of you when you hear Rip Torn say the B and the hit the button word and that's going to be towards the end at the very right before you have to split between those two dark areas I can't really explain it you just have to really listen out for it and make sure you hit that red flashing button in the nick of time I've never had it happen I don't think I have but I hope you have better luck than I have after you are done with the men in black go over to Springfield and explore this Simpson inspired section of the park is very lively and so much fun. While you're there, you're going to want to definitely ride the Simpsons ride, which is where Back to the Future used to be. 
And after you're done, head over to Kang and Kudos Twirl and Hurl. It's just funny to hear them say all these little funny things to you. You will enjoy it for sure. On the Simpson ride, it will take you through whimsical, snarky tour of Krusty Land's theme park. And I love when people make fun of theme parks because, I don't know, that's just my thing. It is another simulator thrill ride and it lasts about five minutes with a couple of 10 minute pre-shows. If you are up to it and you have a little room in your stomach, then grab a snack at Cletus Chicken Shack. Yeah, try saying that three times. <laughs> Here is where I get my favorite snack of all time at Universal, and that is the chicken and waffle sandwich. It is chicken and waffles, but it comes with Eggos. <laughs> So it's got a little Stranger Things touch there. So in between two Eggo waffles, you have a nice crispy piece of chicken breast. And on that chicken breast is this honey glazed mayonnaise based sauce. And I know those things don't sound like they go together, but oh my God, they work perfectly. And on top of it, it's like this crisp iceberg lettuce. Oh man, I could eat that all day. But if you have room, definitely go there and try it. Once you are done exploring Springfield, it is now time to ride the classic E.T. adventure, the only original ride left at Universal Studios Florida. This gondola dark ride is based on the blockbuster movie E.T. and it still has that classic theme park feel which I absolutely love and I recommend you doing it just so you can see what Universal was all about when it first opened. When you are done with the E.T. adventure, go ahead and experience Universal's horror makeup show. This show is hilarious, kind of scary, but lots of fun. It is a bit gory due to the subject matter because it's going through horror film and the history and how the magic is brought to horror films. But if you can do this, it is a must and one of those Universal classics that's left over. The next thing you want to do is just enjoy the shopping and roadside entertainment throughout Universal. Some of my favorite shopping spots are Williams of Hollywood, SpongeBob Store Pants, Quickie Market, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, Park Plaza Holiday Shop. Those are like my favorite shops that I like to go through. And even though I may not buy anything, I just like the theming of those shops. And it's just so much fun to just walk through and see some of the props and some of the universal souvenirs and gadgets and gizmos that's all throughout there. After you are done shopping and interacting with the universal entertainment throughout the streets, it is time to watch the Shrek 4D show. This is a 45 minute 3D theater show located in production central area of the park, which is right when you come into Universal Studios. Here you'll enjoy a nice break from the Florida heat by jumping into an adventure with Shrek and Donkey. And once you're done with that, it's time for you to redeem those Jimmy Fallon race through New York passes and go ahead and race through New York. Best way to end a wonderful day at Universal Studios is with a smooth adult beverage and an entertaining show that is complete with spectacular views. The new Nighttime Lagoon show is one of a kind and it features your favorite Universal Orlando attractions with new storylines, music, lightning, and special effects. We are done with our Universal Day. And as you see, Universal Studios Florida has something to offer everyone with any type of vacation goal, whether you go there solo, with a group of friends, or as a romantic vacation. You can find everything that you need all at Universal Studios. Now, if you would like to see the full itinerary, you can go ahead and download the ebook, which is going to be in the show notes today. That free ebook will have a complete itinerary of how to do Universal Studios Florida in one day and Islands of Adventure in one day. And not only that, it will also include some tips for you to remember to make sure that your day at Universal Orlando Resort is epic. I want to know what tip surprised you the most. You can let me know by joining the conversation over at the Theme Park Hipster Facebook group or just emailing me at themeparkhipster at gmail.com. Don't forget to rate and review this episode. That way I can continue to bring you the best Theme Park hacks tailored just for you and it helps others find the show too. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the Theme Park Hipster Show. And I want you to know that you are my friend and you are my family, whether you know that or not. And until next time, happy park hopping hipsters. The content on the Theme Park Hipster Show represents my own and not those of any organizations or activity mentioned. I am just someone here who likes to share my own stories to you and hope that I can help you have the best vacation ever.